Hey, what up? It's Chris Go Kid, and uh, we have another Wildlife World exclusive. Uh, today, we have um, two little baby otters. I have to start with the baby otters. Look at that. I've never seen baby otters before. <laughs> They're baby otters. <laughs> and uh, I can't forget about Piper. Piper is an alpaca, not a llama, not a camel, an alpaca. And if you hear this little noise, do it again. Yeah, see, that's not that's not my stomach. That's not gas. This is her. <laughs> now, Christy from Wildlife World, you said this is the equivalent of a cat's purr. It is. Yeah. So it's a humming sound that they do, and llamas do the same sound, and they do it whenever they're comfortable or content. Yeah. You can see she is so comfortable right now. Yeah. She has made herself at home in here. Even for a second, briefly, when she was laying down like yeah. a little dog, no, she loves that. to be scratched. Yeah, look. And she's only two weeks old. So Two these, weeks old? Yep, two oh, weeks old, man. and they can actually start walking yeah, just this. 30 minutes to 90 minutes after being born. Now, when they're born, do they have the uh, full coat? I mean, did, did, she came out just like this, pretty much. Pretty much, just like this, just a little bit yeah. smaller. They're about 15 to 20 pounds when they're born, and they'll get about 100 to 180 pounds as adults. The males are typically larger than the females. Ooh, so you know what that was? That was a daydream. Yeah. I, I put this move on it right here. I, I, I do this. It works with everybody. You know what I mean? Not just animals. You this works with have humans to touch. too. Yeah, it's just right here, and you get caught in the zone. So okay, so this weekend, uh, um, Piper is part of the petting zoo. She is. So people can come out. They can meet Piper, and we also have Piper's older sister in the petting zoo, Pippa. <laughs> I get tongue. Piper and Pippa. Piper and Pippa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, she did. Do, do they get jealous of each other, or do they know it's all love? It's all family. Yeah, nope. They love it. And you can actually, for quarters uh, outside, there's a bunch of food you can purchase. You can go in there. All the petting zoo animals will be your best friend. Wow! Yeah. Wow! So you know, I, one thing I really like about Piper is her eyelashes. You know what I'm saying? Like, like so. Now I know. Uh, I guess back in the day, or maybe still, it depends on the side of the world. But like these ant, like alpacas, llamas, camels, they have long eyelashes because they actually help out in their environment, right? That's right. Yeah, it helps keep any dust or debris out of their eyes. And something alpacas are known for is this yeah. really soft coat that she has, <laughs> and this fur that she has is actually softer lighter and warmer than wool. Wow. Yes. Wow. So that's why people want it to cover your ears and make coats. Yeah, but these guys, so what they'll do is they'll shear them. And about once once a year, they'll shear them. Oh, okay. So it's different than a chinchilla. Right, right, yes. right, right. Okay, okay. So that's good. Go, fortunate go, go, for these guys. Go, okay, yeah, fortunate <laughs> for them. Okay, now, don't get jealous, baby, okay? Don't get jealous, baby. Now, over here, we have these two otters. We do. Okay, so now, how old are, how old are these baby otters? So these guys are right about two months old. Now, when they're born, they're born with no teeth. Their eyes are closed. Their eyes actually start to open about 40 days. And these little guys are getting ready to start swim lessons. Yeah, yeah, I heard you say that. So, like, they don't know how to swim when, when they... Now, you would think that when an otter or, like, a seal or a beaver, when they're born, they automatically know how to do what they're supposed to do. Yeah, you would think so. It's uh, very surprising. But these guys, right about two months old, is when they start learning to swim. And the parents actually teach them. These guys are being parent-raised. So they're only away from the zoo short amounts of time. Right. And... Uh, they they live in extended family groups, so the parents help, their older siblings help, mm -hmm. and the parents are monogamous and mate for life. Really? So it's yes. like a, like a, I know penguins. They say like Happy Feet movie. You always think about yeah. your, your perfect soulmate. And so now, what would happen if one of the parents was caught sleeping outside the family here? What what would happen <laughs> in that situation? Um. Well, if the parents don't stick together, then the family dismantles. And they go off and start. Who their gets own. custody? What is the mom? Just like I mean, the father. Don't, I tell you, don't get jealous, baby. Don't get jealous. Yeah, yeah. So once these guys get older, um, if the parents split up mm. or if something happens to one of the parents, then yeah, they all just disperse. Wow. Yeah, yeah man. It's, sometimes it happens in real life like that. So we have one male, one female. We do. And if you take a look at those little paws, yeah, now they're called Asian small clawed otters, and that's because their little claws don't extend past their fingertips, and they're the only otter species that have partially webbed paws which allows them to catch their prey with their paws instead of their mouth oh wow so now in, in this the, i'm assuming it's called the asian what, asian short asian small clawed asian small now is it so this is indigenous to the asian continent it is um in parts of southern and southeastern parts of asia and they're also the smallest of the otter species so full grown they get anywhere from five to ten pounds is this is this the boy or is this the girl so I you have to look. Cover your eyes, folks. Cover your eyes. This is the boy. I believe it's the boy. It's a lot easier to tell when they get older because well, yeah. they develop little <laughs> <laughs> like freckles and different mm. things around their mouth. So they drop. I can 
look at the <laughs> look at the nose and see the color right. on the nose right. and, and really tell. Oh, he is so cute. He is so cute. And so I these know. now you're not able to really pet these at the uh, you know when they go visit the zoo. You can't really pet these, right? So you can't pet them, but it's great because we have an indoor outdoor otter exhibit. So when you come out to see our otters, you can see them playing outside. You can see them playing inside. The full panel acrylic actually goes under the water, so mm. you can see them swimming, right, right, right. which is fun when they're getting their swim lessons because you can see the parents grabbing them, pushing them underwater, bringing them back up, and wow. it is a sight to see. I actually saw it for the first time a few months ago, and it was amazing. So, so it's I mean, these are mammals. So you think like mammal instincts as humans have, they teach their parents or the yep. parents teach the kids how to swim and all that. Man, that's, that is amazing. Well, look, so this weekend, what's happening at, at, uh, at Wildlife World? So if you come out on Saturday between the hours of 1 and 3, we're going to have Rattlers cheerleaders, cheerleaders there doing a meet and greet. Oh, well, I'm good yeah. for that just automatically. <laughs> the animals are bonus at that point. Right? Yeah. With and the weather, all the babies, this is really the pristine time to come out. Okay, perfect. So look for these baby otters and uh, look out for Piper, the alpaca. Baby, I love you. It's all easy, okay? I imprinted on you. You're mine for life. <laughs> Christy, th you know what? Okay. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us today. Thank you. Thanks Wildlife for World, us. Christy, once again, it's the Crisco Kid Block Party. Oh.